If we want to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, we need innovation. We need to be really creative in how we find solutions with a low carbon footprint. Without this technology, we just won't be able to do it in the timeline that we need to. The people who come up with an idea have the most passion and the most commitment to seeing that idea developed. The original discovery that underpins Jupiter was made here at Monash University and so as a spin-out we formed a company to commercialise that, to take that technology which worked in a test tube and scale it up. Many professors have come up with great ideas and they put it on the shelf and it stays on the shelf. Monash University have said, well gee, what if we use those great ideas and we commercialise them? It turns an invention into an innovation take that discovery to a place where it can really impact the lives of people all around the world is a tremendously exciting opportunity. The ideas we've had over a number of years now have a vehicle to have impact at scale. Renewable electricity to make carbon neutral green ammonia. Manufacturing of graphene in fast energy storage devices. Making the propulsion systems lighter and more efficient. The next generation of lithium extraction and refining technology. Software solutions to help organisations get on the path to net zero faster. It's going to require a lot of coordinated action. So the ability to be part of an interdisciplinary group around the Monash Technology Precinct enables us to draw in that expertise and tap into a world-class capability right on our front door. It's a really invigorating place to work based in the Monash Innovation Lab, world-class facilities. We're next to the Generator, which is an incubator for venture capital, and we're working with the Monash MBA program. One of the fantastic things about being surrounded by other startups, you can go tour their space. It's a really positive, collaborative environment. We bounce ideas off each other. We can draw on the resources and the knowledge and the expertise that we have around us. Monash and its positioning in this space is broader than just a physical location. There's an international network that we can tap into, whether that be alumni or other partners or investor networks. It's really helpful for an Australian-based startup to be able to reach out to the world. When it comes to solving the climate crisis, Monash is a fantastic innovation partner. Not only are they an investor, they're a huge supporter of our business. They've opened the doors to investors around the world, as well as scientific partners. We're able to leverage Monash's brand, so we're able to hit the ground running with credibility. Today, we have enormous challenges in front of us. Take the aviation industry. Our vision is that one day, as we're taking off on an emissions-free, quiet aircraft into the sky, look out the window and see a Kite Magnetics logo on the engine beneath the wing. What we're doing at Energy is pretty exciting for grid scale, solar, wind turbines, as well as electric transport. Our technology will truly change the way that we get lithium out of the ground and into the products that are driving the green future. The opportunity to support an ongoing and effective world food supply motivates me every morning. We're excited to take everything we've learned from what we've done at Monash and help translate that across the world.